heart disease is the single biggest killer of all Australians. But you may not know, it is a silent killer of a frightening number of women. We have an expectation that heart disease looks like men, it looks like older men, and that ain't the truth. Heart disease kills three times as many women as breast cancer, claims the life of one in four Australian women, and in fact, it kills more women and more men than all of the cancers combined. And I think that's a statistic that people just really aren't aware of. Pregnancy is often called the ultimate cardiac stress test and you know if you think about the way your heart has to work in a normal day-to-day -day situation then going through a pregnancy and giving birth is putting a massive load on a woman's heart. I got about halfway through my first pregnancy and I had maybe a couple of weeks where I felt good <laughs> and then from about 25 weeks on I, I started becoming increasingly fatigued Eventually, at 36 weeks, I went into hospital and um, I said, look, something is not right. And they finally put me on an ECG and discovered that I was in atrial fibrillation, which is basically early signs of heart failure. At a general population level, I think things like knowing your family history is really important. For those who know they have a family history, there's things we can do clinical cardiac screening, so echocardiograms that look at the heart and a whole range of other tests. And there's also genetic testing and the field of genetic testing has advanced enormously in the last, you know, even five years. So this is something that's now a lot more available. The most important thing that you can do though is go out and tell the people that you love to go and have a heart health check, see their GP, do that and you'll probably save a life. This whole campaign of making the invisible visible is about women actually unifying and standing up and saying, you know what, my health is the most important thing and I need to make it my number one priority.